All right, hopefully I can get through this without any issues. But this is atomic structure, part two. Atomic number, mass number, and isotopes is what we're going to focus on. And maybe it'll go through. Uh, so after this lesson, you should be able to find the atomic mass, atomic number, symbols of, the, um, of elements off the periodic table, calculate the number of neutrons in a particular atom, and differentiate the properties of isotopes of, an, of a particular element. So first thing, atomic number. <clears throat> Please put these in your notes. Um, atomic number is the number of protons. It is the number of protons in an element. Okay, Does not change. It is always a whole number. So when you're looking at your periodic table, find the whole number. So oxygen's atomic number is 8. Not 8.2, not 15.99, but 8. So there are 8 protons in oxygen's nucleus. Okay. Remember we said protons are in the nucleus. So for neutral elements, neutral means um, no charge, Okay. the number of protons equals the number of electrons. Remember these are symbols for protons and electrons. So they are equal. <clears throat> The number of protons will never change for an element. The electrons might, but the protons will never. It is like our social security number, it identifies them, okay? So just like your ID number at school, it identifies them. So if we look over here, you read it right off the periodic table. The number will have, uh, this is the atomic mass, I'm sorry. The number will have a decimal in some cases or parentheses, okay? It is a weighted average. It has a decimal on the periodic table. So if you come over here to Krypton, 83.80, that is its atomic mass and its weighted average, just like your grades in your in your grade book. Okay. So <clears throat> atomic number versus the mass. It can be on the top or the bottom of your periodic table. Ours usually are on the top, but you notice it's a whole number. Here's 15.999. On our periodic table, we have some masses that have parentheses around them, like 261. If something like 261 shows up in parentheses, that means there's no isotopes, and we'll talk about that later. Okay, so we have our atomic number and our atomic mass. Mass number is different than a, an ato uh, average atomic mass. Okay, so mass number is a number of protons and neutrons combined, so we're going to add your uh, atomic number plus, plus your neutrons will give you your mass number, okay? It is always a whole number because we have one proton and one neutron. We have a two, okay? Finding the number of neutrons. <clears throat> You're going to find your mass number minus your atomic number. I have this thing at the end. I'll tell you what it is. So, right. Actually, let's go ahead and do it now so I know it. Ape. Man, this is how you're going to find it. A equals P equals E. Atomic number equals your protons equals your electrons. Okay. Your mass, M A N, your mass number minus your atomic number equals your neutrons, ape man. Okay, and we'll talk about that more. So here's an example of oxygen. You have eight protons, and you have 16 as your mass number. So 16 minus 8 will give you 8. That's how many neutrons you have. Okay. So isotopes. This is a very big word. Make sure you write this down, and I want you to write this definition with it. Atoms with the same number of protons, so they're the same element, but they have different numbers of neutrons, different number of neutrons. So how does this work? Well, they're chemically alike, they have, but they have different mass numbers. <clears throat> they're written like this, element equals mass number. And I'll show you an example of the symbols in just a minute. But basically think of it like this. Isotopes are like you when you gain weight or lose weight. So kind of that idea. So. We have symbols for isotopes. <clears throat> we have a hyphen symbol, and I don't know if I can't think I spelled hyphen wrong, but it's been late, sorry. So nitrogen 14. Nitrogen has seven protons 
or is atomic number is seven, because remember A man A equals P equals E. So we have seven protons. It has 14 on the end. That means it has a mass number of 14. So our 14 would go here minus the seven, and we'd have seven neutrons. This is another way, C12. C stands for carbon. So carbon has six, and I don't like 666, but it has six atomic number, six protons, six electrons, and it has a 12 minus six equals six neutrons, okay? Here's another way to see it. It's called a nuclear notation. This 12 is your mass number, and the six is your atomic number, and here, I don't know what happened here, but there should be an N here. I don't know what happened to my N, but 14 and 7, okay? So, hydrogen, you can have three different hydrogens. The difference is this one has zero neutrons, this one has one neutron, and this has two neutrons, okay? One proton in each one of them, the red one in the middle, and one electron. Okay, so summary, atomic number equals protons equals electrons, ape, A equals P equals E, mass equals protons plus neutrons, so you can even do M plus, or sorry, M equals A my, uh, plus N, or it can be M minus A equals N, okay, ape man, okay, so. Uh, don't worry about the exit ticket, but make sure you have any questions. If you have them, write them down. I'll see you in class.